New World in 2023. I've been playing New World. New World, a game that's gone from an absolute meme of the MMO genre to actually being a somewhat decent game that's fixed most of the issues it had from its disastrous yeah, it launch has. two years ago. Recently, New World has just released its first paid expansion, Rise of the Angry Earth, which brings with it the long-awaited addition of mounts to the game, an increase to the level cap. I've almost finished my mounts stuff. Like, I'm like, uh riding level like 214 or something 200 i see a 226 i believe score cap and trade skills yeah, the last light zone has been revamped into the elysian wilds Ooh. new expedition new artifact gear and a new weapon in the form of the flail i covered new worlds not too long ago as i came back to the game to prepare for the new expansion but in this video we'll venture into the elysian wilds check out the new content msq dungeon get our mounts and i'll give you an updated pros and cons list at the end of the video All right, as well as answer it. the question of if new world is worth playing in 2023 but first, today's sponsor, Nexus War, a game where destiny and strategy collide. In the sprawling world of Nexus... You know what's sad is I feel like this game probably has better graphics than New World. ...war you can join the ranks of four distinct races. Each race boasts their own architectural style, special units, civilization style. bonus, as well as mighty heroes like my personal favorites, Hinoa the Whirlwind Enforcer oh and Zafar the Red Moon Armageddon, who make an exceptional tag team of destruction that can take out legions of enemies. Speaking of Zafar, new players can claim this badass hero simply by logging in for seven days. In Nexus War you can recruit and level up your favorite heroes and harness their power using an immersive RPG system, and whether you're plotting strategy, embarking on open world explorations, or diving into That's adrenaline cool. pumped 30 v 30 brawls in the Siege of Aeons, Nexus- Hey guys, just be careful whenever you see this. Just be careful if Blizzard ever says they're going to bring back StarCraft, okay? Just be careful. Or has you covered. Every battle is a teleporting journey to vast new landscapes, so where cool. strategy, so might, and so alliance cool. cohesion determine the victor. You can also design and personalize mm -hmm. your own galactic fortress, inspired by the architectural uh -huh. style of the four races, where you can build towering mega structures like yeah. the Titan docks and advanced research labs to fortify your command center. Nexus War also offers an expansive map including secrets, ancient ruins, formidable creatures, and awesome treasure. So download Nexus War today using my link in the description and explore this unknown world with me. That's you cool. can also use my limited exclusive gift code NWHeroPack for over $100 worth of rewards. New World Rise of the Angry Earth. I can't wait to get my mount. Let's jump into it. Population high. I haven't seen that. Do you guys remember whenever I, uh, I logged on to get my mount and then I got teleported away so I couldn't do it? That was a good time very long time all right before we start let's just clean up my bags a little bit Ooh, yes. Ooh. okay bags are somewhat clean mm. let's go get our horse there's so many players it's kind of nice so the first thing i'm gonna do is go to this horse icon yeah, a change in the wilds this is the first player we've seen with a horse mate that's so weird in new world like i'm just so used to other players running around so now we should have a new skill called riding let's open the thing oh fuck bro look at this like he's got everything leveled up well, I mean, to be fair, he doesn't have weaponsmithing. Weaponsmithing's only 100, and engineering and jewel crafting are only 100. But pretty much everything else is 200. This is impressive. Like, uh, I never leveled up my fishing. I, I have these at 200, but I'm pretty sure I don't have, uh, like, one of these at 200. This is good. Wait, so did he quit before the aptitude levels? Because he doesn't have any aptitude levels at all. Oh, my God. So he hasn't played for a long time. Yeah, there it is. It's under casual. And now the skill level cap has increased to 250. Lots of work to do mm -hmm. in terms of progression. Oh, yeah. It used to be my goal to max out all of these to 200, but I never yeah. quite got there. The new goal is to max all of these out to 250. Quite a yep. grind we have upon us. And here we go. True, guys. That means, uh, are there any uh, fish... <laughs> do you guys remember any fish fillet owners? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh my fucking god. Oh fuck. That was such a that was such a stupid fucking like month. The, it's the dumbest month. Lots of players ever. hanging out. Every time I come back to New World, sometimes I just have to stop and take in the environment. 
bloody gorgeous game, nice especially in the amazing. forest, especially the yeah. Everfall area. The density of the vegetation, it's the lighting, great. the mist over the lake. Beautiful game. And in the distance, we've got our beautiful noble steed. Shoot it God with a gun. shining upon it. Let's feed it Get out the oats. musket. <laughs> Horse takes the oats and whinnies gratefully. Well, that was easy. Those must have been some delicious oats. And that's all mm -hmm. it takes. A little bit different to Black Desert Online where you need to go out in the world and wrangle the fucker. Now, I knew really? I thought I just... You had to do that? I just... It just gave me the, the tier 9 horse world and it's some oats and that's it new world horses don't play hard to get mount unlocked yeah. moon shadow my first mount awesome you click here and these oh, i like how he's not even paying attention to the quest text at all with the mounts you can get so there's quite a few different skin variations you can collect yeah oh, a lot of these seem to be like cash shop well most oh, of them yeah. are cash shop there's some that you seem to be able to unlock moon shadow equipped summon it with x and there it is. We've got the horse. Mount up and ride to the starting line. Okay. Sprint. I'll admit, I bought the uh, I bought the white lion. Uh, I don't even remember why I did it, but I did it. With shift. So I've got a little timed quest now where I need to run to the checkpoint. I, I probably I did it because I'm stupid. Get some riding XP for this. That's why. The riding feels pretty yeah, solid. Yeah, I'm a fucking Maybe idiot. A tad clunky at first because our riding skill is so low. But I'm guessing as we level that skill up, it's gonna feel a lot better. It probably also. Uh, it does feel good. I would say that I don't like how riding on the roads feels very good, and it's like you go from riding on the roads to riding in the outdoor areas. I wish that like whenever you moved off of the road in new world whenever you're riding the horse you had like a trailing buff you know like whenever you were on the road before and you would maintain the speed boost for like seven seconds after you went off the road i think that they should add something like that to new world for the horses because it feels really bad to transition to like go from here to here and you're it feels like you're going like half as fast i would really like if you were able to like maybe keep that buff for like 10 seconds or like you could have like a mount equipment that would keep that buff for like a period of time yeah being off-road sucks speeds up as you add more equipment to it as well oh that's nice you can summon the mount while right smoothing yeah, but it doesn't like root you in place while no. summoning it i appreciate that that certainly makes the whole mounting thing feel quite a bit more smooth new world's finally becoming a real MMO. this next quest is going to give me something to increase my mount dash recharge rate so yeah, yeah as you level up your riding speed you get different equipment that you can equip to the horse and it, um, yeah, I have a ton of it. I don't know what any of it make does. You feel better. So what's in this horse shop? Oh, so these are like cash shop mounts. Oh yeah, Benson, ten thousand gold. Should well, we you can the buy some of them from the vendors, and I think this is a good thing as kind of like a gold sink, because like a lot of people will probably buy the one that they like. Benson, why not? Got to collect them all. Everyone's got moon shadow. I want Benson. Yeah, this person's got a lion. I don't know what any of their names are. Complete each course. Don't give a shit. I'll do that later. I need to go get a haircut. Hair's getting a little bit long. Beard's getting out of control. Mm -hmm. Be right back. These horse missions are pretty easy so far. It's basically like. just touring zones. You can even do it without the UI off. Just look for the giant yellow line. Speedo. Mission complete. Riding level 50 now. Level it's so funny to see how shitty the mount is at low level. Because I forgot how bad it is. This thing is a piece of shit. It's so bad. Because, like, whenever you get it leveled up, it's way better. Not fast. Can I mount up inside the inn? No. Okay, so some areas are restricted. Cannot dash in settlements, okay. Dashing in settlements would be disrespectful, I guess. I, guess, I think yeah. the horse actually moves faster whilst on a road. Yeah, 100% the horse moves faster on a road. Oh, yeah. I don't know why it took me so long to notice that. Levels. I also like how the horse auto tracks onto the road. So, like, it's not like you have auto pathing like, the, like Black Desert, but it's like soft auto pathing. Where, like, it'll kind of follow the road as long as your camera is pointed in that general direction. 72. It's really nice. I've only just started training this skill. I'm almost at 100 already. Let's see. Does it tell me what I unlock? Leveling it up. Speed bonus at 50. Another speed bonus at 100. So every 50 levels you get a speed bonus. Yep. Tons of players in the town. So nice to see New World populated again. Ooh, a better horseshoe. Medium boost to mount dash. Should we attach an ornament to the mount? Put a little shield on him? It's actually kind of weird to hear so many people saying that, like, they're actually playing the game again. 
Because, like, I've come back for a number of New World patches, and every single time that I've done it, everyone has told me, you're stupid. Why are you playing this? It's bad. But now I feel like a lot of people are saying that. A lot of people are being positive. And that's nice. It seems like they've added even more fast travel points. There's bloody mm -hmm. tons now. You can get around any point of this map now. So many fast travel points. And then yeah. you've got the mounts. So the new MSQ is picked up from Mountain Rise. Grab the new quest. Oh, he's ah, straight away, we're going to get a 630 item level flail. Looking forward to leveling that up. Does the horse die if you jump? Well, it disappears. It, does, kind of. it doesn't die. You can just insta resummon it. Yeah. And you go, go on, horse, do your thing. Horse is a fucking tank. Didn't I do tank. this exact thing myself? It's nice to gain XP whilst playing New World now. It's been so long. So, we've got a purple gatherable here. I've never seen one of these. You got purple weed. This is what this they before. added into the this game. This is one of the new ones. Requires 205 yeah. harvesting. This is normal. Better get gathering, lumbering, and mining then. Oh, this is one of the new trees. What level do I need for the tree? I'm guessing 205 as well. Yep. Rune wood, 205. Very cool. Is that an iron wood tree that I spy in the distance? on the lumberjack has returned. I'm, I'm misleveling up my life skilling in this game. Bro, like, those orange trees are so OP for leveling. Like, I don't know, like, who the fuck balanced that, by the way. How is it that, like, every other tree gives you, like, 500, and then the red trees give you 5,000? What the fuck? Skin this stag. Territory must be faction controlled. Oh, yeah. Wait, what? So to skin that stag, I must control territory. But they're That's rare. Weird. So now we're Not heading here. Rare. And then we're going to begin our adventure in the Elysian Wilds. That is gorgeous. That's Sometimes nice. you just got to stop, look around, and take in the beauty of this game. So this is the entrance. It's very dense. Feels very overgrown. Wow, look at all of the colors. This place looks wild. I guess that's the point. First out. I, I like the new zone. I personally think that I like Brimstone Sands better. I think Brimstone Sands is a better zone. But this is also a good zone. Post. It reminded me a lot of the Ever, uh, was it like the Evergrove or the uh, Everbloom in uh, in Warlords of Draenor, the dungeon. The NPCs treat some wounds. A, hey, we're finally getting the flail. Level 61. Yeah, that was fast level up. I want to level up the flail, but I'm currently in like my mage build, so probably not ideal. I'll level it up later. Crack on with the questing first. Oh no. Mate, how does the game still not have swimming though? Why is like going through any body? They haven't added swimming because they're going to add boats soon, guys. For sure, copium. The of water is still so annoying. Yeah, the lumberyard engine must have some technical limitation where swimming is impossible. It's got to be a priority to add at this point. Surely, it's been two years. Special cutscene here, telling the story of how the zone transformed. Pretty cool cutscene. Level 62. Ah, yes. As we level up now, we're getting attribute points to spend again. Okay. He does the exact same thing that I did. I just put all my points into damage whenever I played mage. Okay, let's respect. I didn't even have a Take that to 100. Take yeah. this to 350. And then the next one we can do ability cooldown reduction. Seems like there's going to be a few more options for builds now that they've changed up the attribute system a little bit. As well as, of course, having more points to spend in general. So far, this zone hasn't felt as dangerous as I thought it would. When I was looking at the gameplay trailers, I just kind of assumed it would be rammed with really difficult mobs that would constantly be hunting you down. But in terms of mob density, it's... I wish that the game had mobs like, uh, you, you know, like in Black Desert where there's like the ogres out in the hills. And they're actually pretty dangerous, like, especially compared to all those other guys, right? Those other guys are just, like, a joke. But then the ogres are there, and it's like, oh, shit, there's this big boy, like, we can't deal with him, right? And Zerv and I, yeah, but, like, like you know, for example, like, the Fell Reaver in uh, Burning Crusade. It would be really cool if they did have, like, very large patrolling elite mobs. That would be cool if they added that into the game. It's not as dense as I thought it would be, honestly. And the mobs I have fought have been very easy to kill. Maybe the zone yeah, becomes I know, more like deadly the further you quest into they're it. They're just rolling oh, is this around. like one of those event quests? Yeah, Go I think that'd be really important. Avoid the divine meteor yeah, bombardment. Yeah, this is so annoying. I remember I did this myself. Well, I've failed that, haven't I? There's so much detail in this new zone. Everywhere you look, there's something interesting. It's full of color. What the hell is that in the distance the on the, the mountain? Line. 
Very cool. Sight to behold. Chunk of XP, level 63. Blazing through the levels. I've got yet another bugged quest here. I'm gonna have to say that I've said this before. I actually think that New World probably has been one of the best implementations of an expansion into a game that I've ever seen. Because the New World expansion didn't really make anything super irrelevant. It actually just made the game bigger. Elaborate? Sure. So what a lot of expansions do is this is what many expansions do. So you have the base game, right? And then actually, uh, let me do this. Okay. So then you have the base game and then uh, you have the expansion, right? So you go from this to the expansion. So like, imagine like this is because the whole game becomes smaller because the end game for the expansion is usually only centered around the end game for that expansion. Like, for example, in Classic WoW, whenever Burning Crusade came out, Classic WoW was this big, Burning, Burning Crusade comes out, and now World of Warcraft is Outland. Everything is happening in Outland. Everything is about Outland. Outland is the end-all and be-all of the entire game. Whereas before that, the entire base game had value. You see kind of what I'm saying? Whereas the New World expansion, what it did is it had the base game, and then Elysian, uh, the expansion, made the entire game bigger. You see kind of what I'm saying? Because all of the content is still available. Like, you still go back and you can, st like, the depths is still mutated. Like, it's, you see it this week, like, you, the Dynasty Shipyard. Dynasty Shipyard was in the game on release. And it's still there. It's still all relevant to the game. Now, obviously, people get more powerful. Of course, your old gear is replaced. However, there are some things that are not really replaced, like heart runes. Heart runes are not replaced. I think that's very interesting. Kind of true, but that's because it didn't add a lot of stuff. That's fine. Yeah, I, I think that sometimes in adding less, it adds more. Because a lot of expansions, whenever they add new stuff, they end up removing all of the old stuff. That's what WoW does. Is that every expansion makes everything in the previous expansion meaningless. And there's no reason to ever do it. For any reason. So yeah, I, I feel like it was a huge improvement. And that's why I'm very positive about the expansion. I did this tracking the herd side quest. It says talk to Fionn Valera to hand in the quest. I mean, here's the NPC. There isn't even like a marker on the map to hand in this quest. So that's another bugged quest. What the hell is this crazy piece of technology? Looks a little bit advanced for New World. Oh Get yeah, the this pylon. is bad. Okay, now what? Is this another bugged quest? I've repaired the pylon, and now the quest just says, let there be power. Oh, okay, yeah, well, I how? fucked this Go one back up, too. There? No, the quest just didn't update. Okay. Yeah, the I fucked the, yeah, for the I new did expansion. that. Uh -huh. Pretty damn buggy. And then you're going to go up and I'm kill I'm actually the not guy. too surprised that there's quite a few bugs in this expansion, because I don't think they have... Well, I'm not surprised either, because it's New World. New World's always had a lot of bugs. Had much testing before releasing this. Level 64. This thing looks like a Tauren from World of Warcraft. Yeah, and as this is wife. No yeah, you can talk to Gorilla wife. Lord. Absolute Giga Chad animal. The Gorilla's voice acting doesn't sound very gorilla. No. One more doors man's gonna kick you out there like a soccer ball. This chest piece <laughs> is interesting. The stat it gives you is based on your highest attribute. So you can wear it with basically any build. I yep. like that. I hope there's more armor in the game like this. Some parts of this zone reminds me a lot of the outpost rush zone. I think yeah, in some areas it uses the same assets. Okay, one more quest and we should be 65. There hasn't really been any decent climbing quests in this zone. Climbing quests are my favorite when they design like really high towers that you need to actually use the game's climbing mechanics to scale. But the ones in this zone are kind of boring. You just walk up to the top. Oh god, another quest where we're waiting for something to spawn. Is this cutscene bug? It's all black. I think so. <laughs> Mate, the questing. They need to add hotter girls into New World. Like, having very hot characters is super important. Like, in the age of simps, you just need to have those really hot characters. 
so buggy on this expansion, like multiple bugged quests. This is a bugged cutscene where it's all black. Feels a little bit like I'm playing a beta test. And that's level 65. GG. And yeah, now we've unlocked I was artifacts. Oh, and we're going to get our first artifact. Very nice. Ascend the tower. Feels like we're approaching the end of this MSQ now. This feels like the climax. Ah, this is that giant thing I saw mm -hmm. in the distance earlier. The tower with the tree growing out of it. We have reached the pinnacle and probably the final trial. The end. I actually think this boss fight was probably the first time New World did a boss fight in one of these like instanced areas that was actually pretty good. What did you guys think about this? Like, I, I thought the Medusa one was pretty shitty. Uh, I thought that the one in Brimstone Sands was also pretty shitty. But I thought this one was all right. Of New Eden. So is this the boss, is it? Artemis, it's the one we've yeah, been I chasing throughout this whole MSQ. Let's just go for it. Oh, dodge. Wait, yeah, yeah. Jesus, Heal. is gonna die? Is she at, or she's at half health. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Good dodge. Kill the ads. Yeah, easy. Jesus. Dodge. Keep attacking. GG. Damn. Fucking hell, that was a shriek. And that's that. Not too difficult. I'm surprised there weren't more uh, crazy mechanics. Basically, just attack boss, kill ads. Kind of cool that my character's actually in this cutscene. Still a lot better than what they had before. Can't really recall too he many. He had other melee mechanics, but like he didn't really have to deal with those. Cutscenes like again, that in New World. Sit down. Good fight. Yeah, so we've fully explored this zone, got all the points of interest, got all of the fast travels. I guess we're done with the MSQ here now. It wasn't a very long quest line, to be fair. To get the rest of the stats I needed for the artifact, I needed to complete three tasks. I actually think the artifact, like, little quests that you can do are very cool. Uh, I, I really like these. These are interesting. First, kill an open world boss called the Toy Maker. Yeah, it feels good to unlock. I was yeah. a bit bamboozled. Like, here. it feels good to unlock, and it's also not really annoying to unlock. Here, though, because the quest marker didn't match where the boss actually spawned. Yeah, he's I was on running those around this temple for about 20 minutes, partially thinking the quest was bugged out, before eventually going to YouTube to find the actual location. Yep. Next task: kill 50 wildlife in the Elysian Wilds. Sorry, Ooh. vegans. And finally, go defeat Commander Forp in the Depths Dungeon. Bit of an odd task, really, considering this dungeon is for level 45s, but okay. Yeah. Thought I think that's fine, though. Honestly, it's that's whatever. Like, for me, like, I need to do for my ring, I have to kill uh, Commander Marius in uh, fucking, what's it called? Uh, that, that one place, Empyrean Forge. I'd unlocked all the perks, but the artifact quest added extra confusion by telling me to go to a gypsum kiln to upgrade the gear. Mm -hmm. I went to multiple different kilns, and there was nothing to upgrade. In the end, I just assumed the gear was already upgraded, the quest was supposed to disappear, and this was probably another bug. I uh, no, I don't think so. I think if you scroll down to the gypsum kiln, it'll allow you to upgrade something with, their fi with its final stat that you choose. Oh, that's right. You have to unequip it. That's so like with heart runes. Yeah, if you want to upgrade your heart rune, you have to unequip your heart rune and have it in your inventory. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Game. This time I try out the yeah. new expedition. So let's go here. Find a group as a healer. Let's go. Okay, we got a group. The brand new expedition, the Savage Divide. Going in completely blind, not looking at boss mechanics or anything. We're only on regular mode, so shouldn't be too hard. Visually, looks pretty cool though. Mate, whenever you have to walk through deep water in this game, it just feels so shit. Why even design the environments with that big elephant boy waiting for us on the other side? Oh, we needed him to break open the rock, and that's given us some extra loot. What? Really? Huh. I didn't know that. That's Someone's crazy. Someone's done this dungeon before. I had no idea. Ooh, we got a legendary threat as well. When are we fighting a real boss? So far, it's been quite easy. Defeat Kuron. I will Pro say, like, one thing that I think is a problem is that it's too easy to get 700 gear. I think that gear, you should be able to upgrade gear to 725 or 750 with uh dark matter it's too fast 
probably now. Yeah, that's definitely a real boss. Big hills, throws rocks. So yeah, far, so, so yeah. good. This guy's doing some kind of mechanic. Oi, big hills. I got you. Clutch hills right there. Is he almost dead already? Okay, pretty easy boss. Is that it? Dark Manor is way tougher to find. So. Exactly. I so it'd be if like a more long term grind. dungeons easier or something because this has been incredibly easy. Now, this is easier than Lazarus was at launch. Seems like nobody needs any healing. All right, beyond this gate, I'm getting. I feel like it's easier than Lazarus because you're going into it with like full like gear. I would say, whereas like in Lazarus, like nobody had any gear or anything, so it kind of was a lot easier. I think that this, I actually think that this raid is very difficult, but the tuning for the numbers is very low. And that's why, like, for example, if you're doing Savage Divide on, like, Mythic 3, it's hard. This is the final boss. Here he is. Like, we had str we struggled on Mythic 2. Boss. Okay, there's a little bit of stuff to heal on this boss, but not much. Is that Big it? There's no yeah. way. Mate, that was one of the easiest bosses in the game, and it's, like, from the newest content. Welcome. Pretty cool dungeon. Regular mode was an absolute cakewalk, though. Mm -hmm. I'm absolutely sure that they've made regular mode, like, super easy or something. And the real difficulty must be on the, uh, the mutated versions. But it's also, like, you've got to keep in mind that they rebalanced the entire game. Because I remember, dude, whenever I got my, my Corruption Bane gear... So, like, I got full 625, full Corruption Bane gear, or for, full Corruption, like, Absorption gear, and I had a 625 Greatsword with Trenchant Recovery and also Corruption Bane, and I went and I did Tempest Heart. It's like I was doing a level 50 dungeon. Like, I didn't even have to play the game. I was just relaxed. I was just, I was just having fun. I wasn't really playing. The game. I was just yeah, I was playing the game. I was just chilling, right? I just show up, right? And so the thing is that the game became easy with very good gear, but at the same time, I don't think it became like that. That gear grind wasn't fun to do. So like now that it's rebalanced, that you don't have that, I think it's easier because it was balanced to have that discrepancy, where it's hard without it and easy, super easy with it. Whereas like now it's just like medium difficulty for everybody. Starstone Dungeon looked pretty hard in Mythic 2, though. It was pretty hard, yeah. Leveling up my horse. Oh, that's level 100 riding. So this quest is the one that gives me access to a wolf. Investigate the treatment of wolves. Are they being mistreated, are they? Yeah, they're Yeah, he's being mistreated. Wolfy boys all locked up. Wait, why do I feel sorry for this wolf? I have been constantly attacked, assaulted, and bitten by wolves throughout my entire time playing this game. Yeah, it's true. Yet this one wolf we're taking pity on. My character has mercilessly slaughtered hundreds, if not thousands of wolves thousands during his I've adventure. But this is the wolf we need to save. Okay, so I'll just have to suspend up. my disbelief a little bit. Okay, wolf, if I uncage you, you got to promise not to attack me. <laughs> <laughs> Open wolf but shop. The wolf. brown one is 25k. One. Mate, I'm not made of money. Blood feast. Let's equip it. He needs to start streaming so people will give him gold. Gilems over. Yes. Okay, let's give the wolf a try. There he is, blood feast. Yeah, quite well animated. I think I prefer the wolf over the horse. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna level up my mount until I unlock the lion. I actually kind of hope that they don't add in stupid mounts. Like, I, I hope that the mounts that they keep in the game are things that are, like, very grounded. And not, like, super goofy weird boy mounts. I think we might yeah, like just car. about make it. <laughs> 50 seconds. Somebody goes by in a fucking Lamborghini. 30 seconds. Oh, this is going to be like, so oh, close. Oh, shit, he got the store boost. 20 seconds. Oh, fuck off. We're actually a not going to make it. A motorcycle, yeah. Oh, jump off. He'll make it. Ten. Come, Come on, horse. Five. Four. Oh, we just did it. <laughs> Three seconds to go. I would have been tilted if I missed that by a few seconds. Quest complete. That's 152 riding. And with that, I've got another That's big good. He's speed been boost. Ooh, yeah, I'm That's a impressive. lot faster now. Bro's lion's just sliding wow. across the floor. That looks so scuffed. Yeah, that In some places, yeah, New World's really now. good, and others is just scuffed. It's the only way. I just have to say, like, maybe it's because I grew up in Texas, but, like, some of the areas in Brimstone Sands, I've been there.
Like I've I've just I've been there. Like I I, I it's really cool for me for me to see. Brett, this area looks bloody gorgeous right now though. Just the Arizona, steam yeah. coming up from the Fire floor. World. Brimstone Sands, even though it's not the newest content, is easily my favorite zone in the game. In terms of visuals, I think it just looks epic. I, like I actually enjoyed the Brimstone the Sands MSQ more than the Elysian Wilds MSQ as well. Yeah, so I can understand why better. some people were disappointed with the Elysian Wilds expansion. Because the Brimstone Sands update, which was free, was in my opinion, a lot better and a lot more substantial for the game. Another bug that I'm dealing with is the timer for these mount quests has just stopped being displayed. The mount quest is the same thing happened to me. Appearing, but no timer next to it. Quite a few annoying bugs, unfortunately. I remember this happened to me, and then there was like one quest where it was like, okay, so uh, we're gonna want you to go from like the bottom of the map to the top. Well, okay. Go on ahead then. And I did it. And like the entire second half of the time, I was stressed out that I was going to miss the timer. All the way to Reek Water. Eight kilometers. Just when I thought the other one was bad, I get a 20 minute, eight kilometer run from one side of the map to the other quest. Brutal. But this should take me to 200 riding or pretty close to it. Imagine how tilted you'd be if you failed a 20 minute mission right at the end. At least relogging. It's supposed to be uh, making some of the races shorter. I think the races are fine. I don't see a single. I don't think there's anything wrong with them. It's totally okay. Fix the bugged quest timer. If I fail this mission, just make the timer work. I'm not work. too sure what I could have done differently. I've been uh, sticking to the roads, optimal route. Okay, two kilometers in six minutes. I'm yeah, pretty sure. Yeah, by the way, if you're doing these, always follow the roads. There's only like maybe one point in the entire game where it's a good idea not to follow the road. Just follow the road. That's it. We're gonna make it. Longest mountain mission I've done to date. Like, the speed boost is so much higher. Oh. oh no, don't you fucking dare. I'm gonna fail the mission because the game doesn't have swimming. You're fucking joking. It was literally on the road. Is that gonna abandon the mission? Yeah, it has. Because the game doesn't have swimming. Oh my god, that's an ab- I went through the top. I didn't have that happen. Yeah, I didn't- I didn't have that happen to me. Oh my god. Absolute disaster. I fucking hate Fuck. this game so much. Why doesn't it have swimming? I wasted True. 15 fucking minutes That's right. running across the map. And you have to do it again. You have to fall go in back. the water do and die again. because swimming doesn't exist in this yeah, fucking game. Yeah, go do it game. again. That's unbelievable. Yeah, I didn't know the see, see, I went right here. Yep, I went right here. I came down to here. I went to here and I think it ended like right here or something. Yep, this was never a problem. Water there was that deep. I thought I could just paddle through it, but no. It's a fucking river. Oh yep. my god. That's the worst thing that's ever we'll happened just go to do me it in the world. Fucking doing that and then failing right at the end. There's but... Actually, that's not true. There's no way that's the worst thing that's ever happened to him in New World. There's no way. That's absolutely broke my soul. One eternity later. Just do it. Five minutes, we got tons of time now. All good. Look where he's at, boys. See that? That's a smart guy. Uh-huh. The thing is with the reek water thing, is that that area was designed for if you ran forward, your character would go off of this edge and they would grip this edge so you would never actually fall down and die but because they removed like the, the mount doesn't grip anything you just <laughs> fucking fall off and die because you're on the mount because the mount doesn't grab onto edges all good. Impossible to fail unless we lose internet connection. Almost there. 200 meters. Ah. Oh. GG. 198 riding. Next to this the Elysian Wilds. Surely we're getting a lion mount now. Yes, there yep. it is. 
Rescue the lion. I did Here this. he is. My new I still mount. need to finish this. Riding level 204. And that's going to be another speed bonus. Uh, hello? Lion? 10 out of 10. Would They're slide lion again. About the lion. <laughs> See what I mean when I say New World's a bit of a scuffed game at times? Is this just how it is? That's hilarious. I'm not even going to complain about that. <laughs> so fucking scuffed. Wow. An expansion that people were happy to pay for. The rest of him is animated. Dollars. But his toes right are just like... <laughs> if I dismount, will it fix it? Yeah, probably will. No, that's just how the really? lion mount is, apparently. Lion isn't the like that. See, he should have bought the lion on the store. The lion on the store doesn't have that problem. Only the quest reward lion has that problem. The store one works just fine. Donning. Since I've logged back in, my lion isn't bugged anymore. At certain times of day when the lighting's really popping off and you're traveling through certain zones, like Everfall is just so gorgeous. Windswood as well, super cozy. And something so cool about New World that you always kind of forget is that every tree is choppable, every plant is gatherable. Yep. When it comes to like the gathering and stuff, the world's like highly, highly interactable. More so than almost any other MMO. But it's certainly something that makes you feel really connected to this game. The world of it anyway. Here it is. I've arrived. That's why it was so important that they made the servers bigger and they still need to keep doing that. Because there's just like a world like that that's empty doesn't matter. At the finish line right where we started. And that should be 250 riding. Oh, Damn. my mount's so fast now. Because I've unlocked the final speed boost for getting to 250. And now I've also unlocked my right attachment slot. The mountain attachments look kind of lackluster, to be honest. They look fucking stupid. Probably because the game wants you to buy skins for your mount to look cool. It's okay. I get it. It is what it is. My speedy boy has finally realized his potential. Next, I wanted There's to level the flail up to 20. No, Previously, the best method of doing this was via a Thor repeatable Thorpe event in the open world. Since the expansion launched, though, the location of this event has changed, but I arrived and was instantly invited to a large raid a group. Raid? I popped my Weapon Mastery Wait, XP what? booster, but quickly realized that with so many people in this group, the XP was not only garbage, but sitting here semi-AFK for the next few hours would be very boring. So I just... Dude, yeah, what the fuck are you doing? Like, yeah, I don't I do not do that at all. Like, I need to level up the rest of my weapons, but I need gear for it. I decided to find my own strat to level faster. I ventured to the south of the Great Cleave to a spot that I used to level up my weapons back during New World Alpha. Uh, this is the wrong area, by the way. The area that I level up my weapons at is way better. I used my mount to pull packs of 10 to 12 mobs at a time and aoe them down with my flail. This was extremely fast, at over 1000 weapon XP per pull, and infinitely more fun than waiting around for the fourth event. Yeah. There it is, flail and shield level 20. At this spot, if you do what I just did, I think you can get most weapons from 1 to 20 in about an hour. Definitely a fan of the flail though. In terms of animations, Really cool. The abilities feel impactful, shield. fun to use. Can, Definitely one of my favourite weapons in the game. Fuck it. Let's queue for some outpost rush. Match started. Are we on the winning team or the losing team? Do mounts work? No, unfortunately not. Instantly recognised in the group. It's sad that you don't have a, uh, a mount to use in the outpost rush, but it's not really a big deal. With a booster? Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, you want to buy the boosters because they just make it faster. But yeah, flail is fun. It just hits like wet potato. The flail is really good at pissing people off. It's fucking annoying. That's the best thing. Like, if, if you're like, hey, I'm really annoying. What's a weapon that really fits my play style? The flail. Big kills. This is a wild fight. So obnoxious. I don't know if the meta has changed, but it seems like people are staying alive a lot longer than they were the last time I was playing this game. People oh, got this more is intense. Health, but not more this is plenty of stuff to heal. Big ratio. damage. Oh, spin. Big kills. Jesus, I got you, bro. So, so Keep bad. running. It's like stuck on rocks. It's all dark. I'm getting flame throwered. Let's get in there and do some DPS with the flail. I'm helping. It does feel fun switching to the flail and just jumping in and then doing the spin to win ability. It's actually I feel like the flail meta is going to be using a flail in like uh, dungeon clears for like healing.
but also doing DPS with like a tank that has a lot of lifesteal. I feel like that's going to be the end meta. Like you're going to see speed runs using stuff like that. They made healing so much more fun. We we're actually like they have now, so much life we return. Gonna lose. So on like that, uh, the left hand tree. We got the Baron. The Surely we're gonna get the win now. Big heals. Come on, team, push him back. Let's fucking go. Heals for way, you. Switch to the flare. So Let's fun. charge him down. Damage on it's the door. So much than Open it up. Melee. And there's the W. Nice. Bunch of achievements. I was actually second on my team for score. The next thing I want to test is the new Heart Rune. Heart Rune of Primal Fury. Actually, first let's do a cheeky game of 3v3. PvP balancing is in effect. For level 60 players, this mode has gear score scaling. I'll queue as a healer, we'll see how it goes. Last time I played 3v3 Arena, healing wasn't super fun because everyone was just playing Firestar. Maybe the game's been rebalanced. Very quick to find a game. 3v3 Arena in New World can be a bit hit or miss. It's really fun with- Well, whenever he says hit or miss, what he really means is that you will attack a, a player and you'll either hit or miss. He's actually very accurate in that. The desync in the game is not good. Now, obviously, better players learn how to play with it, and they get better at it, and so it's not like you can't be good at it, or it takes no skill, or anything like that. However, it would be very nice if it was a little bit better. The desync is really, really bad in this game. I would say combat desync is actually probably in the top three biggest problems in this game, and like character desync in general, because it feels really bad balanced teams but what i didn't know was that the donkey matchmaking system will sometimes queue two healers together in the same group resulting in oh, your team not this. really having enough damage to kill anyone i did get to try out my new heart rune ability though which turned me into some primal rage mode where you throw big slaps around it was fun but felt a bit clunky I think I'm going to wrap up the video here. I've done everything I wanted to do. Got my mount, leveled it up to 250. Yeah. Experienced the new zone, played through the MSQ, mm -hmm. done the new expedition, mm -hmm. and checked out a few other things. Before we get to the pros and cons, I'm definitely going to continue to play New World because I was playing it before this expansion even launched. What I'm probably going to do going forward is just map completion. The last time I was playing the game, I was doing every quest in each of the zones. I've already done the side quests in like Windswood, Monarchs, Everfall, Brimstone. I was working on reek water goal is to basically just complete everything do every single side quest get every single trade skill to 250 and have a strong set of gear for healer dps melee dps decks and mage so yeah. after returning to new world in 2023 yeah, for the rise of the angry earth expansion sets. my updated pros and cons list is as follows Pro. no life no it's just the way that you if you want to if you're trying to beat the game and play the game like that all you have to do is just do everything right and just complete all the content and just beat every single thing in the game completely and that's it that's all it takes arena doesn't have desync almost at all outpost rush used to have it a lot arena just doesn't i don't know like i'll like i'll like do a sword lunge next to somebody and i'll go like this and then my character will go like like behind him like it, it has desync Immersive world, top tier graphics, top tier sound effects, top tier yeah. gathering system that true. makes you feel connected to the world because almost true, true. everything can be gathered. The climbing, crouching, and crawling also helps you feel connected to the world and aren't aspects of movement that most MMOs have. The game has a unique combat system. There's no need for alts in New World because it's a classless MMORPG. Whereas I also think like the classless part, I never really think about this, but yeah, that is really cool that I never have to play another character. It's extremely easy to swap between build and play style. The game still isn't pay to win in 2023. There's content for fans. There of are advantages that you can get that expedite things in the game that you can spend money for. Like, for example, like the experience boosters for weapon weapon skill. Like it expedites annoying tasks, but none of these annoying tasks are end game activities. 
both PvP and PvE, clean user interface, good crafting system. In 2023, New Worlds questing actually feels pretty good. In 2023, getting around the map now feels good with the addition of mounts and lots of teleport shrines. Mm -hmm. In 2023, the game has lots of quality of life, such as connected storage, gear sets, mm -hmm. no more Bane perks, expertise system removed, you can make raid groups now, and so yeah, many- Yeah, the expertise system was really confusing and really stupid. I don't know what the fuck they were thinking. More to list. All positive Remember changes. The, watermark system? the game has transmog nowadays, which Bro, is another thing fun. that players can have fun with at end game. That? New World Expeditions are for the most part really fun and visually epic. In my opinion, they're better than most MMO dungeons. And the devs have fixed the vast majority of issues that the game had back at launch. Mm -hmm. Cons. Sometimes New World can feel like a really scuffed game. From it does. It's simply the combat desync in every aspect of the game feels incredibly scuffed. It is just, it feels really bad. Like your character gets moved around. How many times did your character go on like... That shouldn't happen. It's bad bugged quests to your character jittering against terrain, bugged it? UI, desync, and bad. something I mentioned in my previous New World vid is that running in New World feels off. The running animation looks faster it's than your character's run with... speed. I never really Getting attacked it. by mobs in New World feels worse than almost every other MMO. This is even worse if multiple mobs are attacking you. Mm -hmm. Mobs will chain stagger you, interrupt your iframe dodge roll, desync you, cause you to jitter back and forth, and frequently damage- Have you guys ever gotten hit by multiple, like, knockback attacks from mobs, and your character is just going, <laughs> It's like there has to be some form, like, they have to be- As a tank, yeah, it's really bad, right? There should be, like, an internal cooldown on that. Where, like, that can only happen to you once every five or ten seconds. It's awful just doesn't register on certain abilities. Whilst the combat in New World is unique yeah, and something DR. that many people, including myself, enjoy about the game, it's certainly very rough around the edges. Even though New So the combat and the game... So New World is a game that the less seriously you take it, the more fun you will have. The more you try to be very competitive and take the game super seriously and play at a high level, the more you will see the cracks and the problems of the game. As a casual MMO, it is great. World has increased its server cap from 2000 to 2750. This is still quite a low server cap nothing, when compared bro. to other it's MMOs. Nothing. Even though New World added transmog, you can't fully enjoy the transmog system due to the need of buying transmog tokens off the cash yeah, shop. You can only get one Unbelievably, game the game still doesn't year, have swimming week. after being released for over two years. Whenever you traverse through water, the game just feels awful. If you're broke and can't afford the new DLC, then the game probably isn't worth playing for you, as you'll be locked out of a lot of content such as dungeons, mounts, the flail weapon, the new region, new gear rarity, and so on. Yeah. That being said, the game has had free updates for the past two years, so I personally don't see this as any different than what WoW does with every expansion, but I guess a lot of players feel like the content added with Rise of the Angry Earth wasn't enough to justify the price of the DLC. Overall, in I don't know. I mean, fuck. I'd have paid money for Shadowlands not to come out. So, like, I, I I feel like it really just depends on the expansion. You can't do mutations without the expansion. Yeah. I mean, here's the thing. Like, it's a buy-to-play game with no sub fee that's being continuously developed. Yeah, they're gonna have to charge money for an expansion, guys. That's the way. That's the way money works. It's thirty dollars. Come on. If you're an MMO player and you're worried about playing an end game MMO and you're not able to spend $25, you need to solve other problems in your game besides not being able to spend or besides not being able to play an end game MMO. Like, let's just be honest here, okay? A little bit of a reality check here. 2023, New World feels like a much more complete MMORPG with it the does. addition of mounts and the plethora yes. of good changes made to the game since launch. Personally, I really like New World, and I get the most enjoyment out of the game by working towards completionism, running around with the UI off, admiring the beauty yeah, of the world, doing the occasional dungeon, and healing in Outpost mm -hmm. Rush. 
When you look back at the original pros and cons list I made for this game back at launch, almost every con I listed has been fixed at this point, and the game is definitely heading in the right direction. Well, you know what we should do? We should go back and watch my video of New World that I did in 2020 and see how many things actually got fixed. Yeah, we should go back and compare it. I'd most like to see the New World devs fix next would be add swimming to the game and work mm -hmm. on the fundamental issues I have with the gameplay, such as the scuffed feeling of combat when mobs hit you and improve the smoothness of combat as a whole. So is New World worth playing in 2023? If you can afford to buy the DLC, then yes. Otherwise, no, as you'll feel like a brokey seeing everyone else riding around on mounts whilst you're moping around on foot. But that's it for this video. As always, let me know your thoughts on New World in 2023 in the comments below. What are the things that you would most like to see the devs fix next to further improve the game? Are you enjoying Rise of the Angry Earth, or did you find it a bit disappointing in terms of new expansion content? I thought it was great. I'm going to be honest. I, I think the expansion's great. I'm happy about it. He didn't ask you? He did. I'm watching a video. He's asking the people that watched the video. I did get asked. You played it for like two days? Bro, I bet I probably did Starstone Barrows for more time than you've played the entire expansion. Just that one dungeon in that one week. Don't talk to me like that. If you enjoyed this vid, then help us out with a like to appease the algorithm gods. Social media on screen. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. I think that was a pretty good video, man. That was a good one. I have to say, New you World. Know, Lazy Peon is one of the only guys that, like, makes New World videos. Like, pretty much the only other time people make New World videos is, like, whenever they say the game's bad. So, I'm happy to see this. I really am. Let me link this video for you guys. Make sure to give it a give it a like. I think this was extremely fucking fair. Like this is a extremely fucking fair review. Everything you said I think was true. I do have to say that like especially after like a month or two with the expansion, they should just bundle the cost of the expansion with the base game. I think it feels really bad for people. Like you shouldn't make people buy a game and then immediately buy an expansion. Just put them together, make the game more money, and then sell the game as a finished product. That is one of the good things about New World, that you don't have to... It's not like Destiny, where it's like, okay, did you buy this? Did you buy that? Did you have this? Or do you have the special bonus pack? Oh, you do? Oh, wow. Now you can do this, right? Like, all this list of things you need to buy. You don't have to do any of that. You don't have to play, like, WoW, where you have to buy every expansion. Nope. All you have to do is you just buy the game, and you play the game. It's that simple.